so we're here today then with the big reveal of all the dispensers all lined up next to each other and we're going to decide which ones we prefer we're going to rank them from one to seven and we've got individual reviews of each on the channel now so if you want a more in-depth review look at that or each the one you like the most um, but today we're just going to have a quick look at the pros and cons um, and decide which one we think's best uh, abby and me and then maybe you can put in the comments which one you like the most and maybe even how you would rank them from one to seven so let's start just by looking at the price and how many pods they hold and give you the names of them. So this is the Touch Nomad dispenser. Um, that's £17 and it holds, that's this one, Touch Nomad dispenser, £17 and holds 15 capsules. This is the View Bombardier. Uh, that holds 19, that's £19 and holds 50 capsules. Then we've got the View Cube. That's £22 and again holds 50 capsules. Got the Pure Rock, that is £27 and holds 60 capsules or 28 virtual capsules. This is the Viseo, and um, that is £28 and holds 40 capsules, 20 on this side, 20 on the other. We'll discuss that more in a minute. The Touch Lead Dispenser, that's £28 again, same price as the Viseo, but this holds 60 capsules. Rotates, holds 60 capsules, 30 on each side. Um, and you leave the sleeve in. Then we've got the Discovery Box, that's £29. So the most expensive of the lot. There is another Pixie one like this, but it was out of stock. And to be honest, it's, it functions in a similar way anyway. So we've just got these ones. And um, that's £29 of, is the most expensive of the bunch here. And that holds 48 pods. Um, 24 on top. 24 on a second layer, which we'll show you on a layer, as my wife keeps telling me it's a layer, not layer, um, underneath. So let's have a little chat about which ones we like. So we've got the Touch Nomad dispenser. What do you think of that one? Um, it's the only one that is designed to be a travel dispenser, isn't it? It's the only one that's got a lid that you, can take, that you can take out with you. Um, but what we have noticed is that as much as that is a unique selling point, it's it's only good, I suppose, if like we've put in there, you've got one or two kinds of pods because you've got to get one out of, at a time, haven't you, to access them. So say you've got, say you're the sort of person who only sort of sticks to the same pod every time. So you're arpeggio and that's all you drink. You could fill that up with arpeggio quite easily um, and access it from the top. You've got to screw it off, which I, again, I don't like because I like to be able to just put my hand in and get at a pod. Um, I'm not too keen on having to lift any lids off or twist any lids off. Um, but I've deliberately put this one little one, the little Napoli pod, if you can see down there. I've deliberately put that where it is just to, just to show you really that if you're having a variety of pods in there, say you spot one that you want at the bottom, like I've put the Napoli in there, I'm going to have to tip all of these out to get at it. But if you've just like one or two pods, you can sort of alternate them like I've done here to be able to get at your pod that you want that day every time. Um... Yeah, or, or put all um, a single pod in all the way through so that you don't have any problems. But we were thinking, weren't we, like, when would you actually use this? And I suppose there's only two scenarios I can think of. And one is that maybe your place of work has an espresso machine and you've tried taking your own pods and people keep on pinching them. <laughs> so you thought, right, I'll take them myself, keep them in my bag or wherever, and they're not going to get crushed. Or... At the minute, everybody's doing a stay, stay vacation. What's it called? Stay, 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 <laughs> stay vacation. Stay vacation. <laughs> stay um, If you know that they, that's got a, an espresso machine, then it's a good way of taking them on holiday yeah. and but they're not going to get quite crushed. Big though, it's, it's deceptive, really, because it is still quite a big thing. So it's, it's transportable, mm. but it is still quite big. Um, so that's what we think of that one. Then we come over to the view Bombonier. Um, this one sort of rocks around. It's difficult to show you here, but watch the full review. There's a flat surface when it's um, sat on now, and then you can sort of rock it from side to side. Um, I like it because I can get my hand in. Like I say, I've got big hands, um, so don't be fooled by that. You will get your hand in easy enough. Um, you can get at the pods you like. Again, it is see-through underneath, so it's not so bad. You can see what you want if you're struggling to find it from the top. Um, but the rim around, I don't know. What do you think? I like this one. I think it reminds me of a bit of a, a sweet jar. Um, 
if you turn it, I've got all of the camera, so I can't, can you turn it to the side? Yeah. And then you can see the design of it. So that's how it looks. And it's got that Nespresso branding on the side. And I just think it looks quite smart. Yes. I think it's quite an appealing dispenser. Um, can I just jump in? Yeah. Just something someone pointed out. It's actually, I don't know I should have noticed this anyway, but it is actually shaped like an espresso pod, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so they pointed that out in the comments before. And uh, yeah, I thought, I, I just, I can't believe I didn't notice I it. I didn't get that either. Um, so that's, that's where brilliant. the design comes from. Um, but at the price, what did we say the price was again? Was it 19? Yeah, 19. Obviously, you can get 20% off all these if you're an expert or ambassador member. Um, but £19, I think it's decent value. There's no lid on it. You don't have to worry about not being able to get in straight away. Yeah, access which is good if you've got a coffee in your hand, isn't it? Or if you're sort of messing around with something else at the time. Um, and obviously you can hold virtual pods as well, can't And it, it can hold virtual pods, yeah. Um, so then we go the, to the View Cube. Again, similar sort of thing, but this has got a lid on it. Um, it slides around. There's no sort of um, feet on it, little rubber feet which some people like, they prefer the design like that, that way. Um, I prefer little rubber feet, just because I don't, if I've got one hand, like I said, I'm trying to get in, and I, well, you can, you can do it easy enough, but it does move around. Um, what, do you, what do you think? Yeah, it is nice. Um, it's a neat little thing. There's just, I don't know. I don't know whether it's the lid, having to lift the lid that puts me off. I don't know if that's me being the laziest person ever, but... I think that is something that does, it just doesn't really appeal to me because of the lid. <laughs> and it sounds really silly, but. I feel the same. I do, I feel yeah. a similar way on it. It's just that something in, just a barrier to what you want to get at, isn't it? Yeah. And for me, some people might like that. It's got a little Nespresso, if you just see a little Nespresso branding on top. Yeah, it looks smart. It is I a think, nice looking Yeah, thing, it? definitely. It is, it's a modern thing. I think it does, it looks nice out on the side. Um, but yeah, I think it's just the lid for me. But it is more expensive than the Bombardier. How much it? is that one? The Bombardier is nineteen, and this one was twenty-two, so three pound difference. Which one's more functional? They both hold the same amount of pods. They both they? hold the same amount of pods, and um, so you'll find out which one we think is more functional in a minute when we we rank them. Uh, so then we come to the pure Q, the pure rock. Sorry, at twenty-seven pounds. Remember, holds sixty capsules, so it spins round. We've had this for how long? Have we had this for now, do you reckon? Eight months or something? Is it that long? I think Possibly. so, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Um, and you made an interesting point. You said you've, ne you've had it all that time and it's never bugged you. <laughs> yeah, it? no, never bugged me. Um, I just think it's, it's obviously, I think it's a design that might not be to everybody's taste, but personally, I think it's, it's unique. It's nice. The base is really solid. It's like yeah. weighted, isn't and it? It has little rubber feet on that one. Yeah, so it's not, it's not moving anywhere. But then the fact that you can spin it around on the top, I don't know, it's just got nice little features. And you can see through the bottom to get it a pod if you're struggling. Lifts off, you just sort of see through the bottom. And um, so if you are struggling to find, well, we've got just virtual pods in a minute uh, in there at the minute, but we usually have a mix of both, don't we? We do. That's because we've been like testing out all the other dispensers. Yeah. So we'll just Although put... to be honest, I think I'll probably myself. Well, you could use it for either. It doesn't matter, does it? No. Really. No. Um, but I, you could keep it. I think for going forward, we might keep two of these dispensers. Um, and have virtual in one and if you in case you've got two machines your, yourself and then the original in the other and I think that's probably a, mm. an easier way to work things rather than dig through these virtual to find one little pod at the bottom uh, yeah. an original pod um, anything else on that one do you think? no I think that's it so the Viseo then very multifunctional you can put this on the side of a fridge uh, it's got magnets in so it clips apart and you could have Two sides of it on a fridge, one above the other, um, so that it's like you've got your full 40 pods, or you can screw it to a wall with this middle section. If you just have a quick look, there's a middle section that screws to a wall, but then you're losing sort of 20 of those pods, as I understand it. Uh, it did squeak when we first got it, but that seems to have stopped now, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just a case of, I think it may, it may have had like a little line of plastic or something on that was just worn away as we've used it a little bit. Um, so that's good. Uh, what do you what do you think of that? I like this one. I think again, like the pure rock, it feels like um, a quality kind of piece. The base is really nice and heavy. It's got the nice little branding through there. Um, it's got the rubber feet, which the pure rock has as well. Um, you can but also put it on its side. You can't can, you can put it like that next to your machine and get yeah, it either side. Then it's easy to move. It doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. Um, 
And I think the versatility on it is really good because Clever, isn't it? it is. It means so many different people will be interested in it for use in different ways. Um, but I think, yeah, I, I like it. Forty pods. That's a decent amount. I like the way it displays the pods as well. You can, see, you know, it really shows off. The colours of the pods, the design of the pods. Nice and neat, isn't it? Yeah, so we do like that one. Um, I think that's... Yeah, move on. Yeah. So now we've got the touch sleeve dispenser. Same price as a Vaseo, £28, but this one holds 60 pods. Um, three sleeves on each side. Um, we did, I think, might slip down a little bit, you see there, but just a tiny bit. It's stayed in place pretty well. I had a solution where I got rid of the messy cardboard bits at the bottom. Since then, I've had no problem with it whatsoever. I really like it as a dispenser. They all pop out easy enough. You just sort of pull it out like that and it drops down. Um, no pods have slipped out of it. So it's a touch sleeve dispenser, remember? Um, and these do stay in place. It slipped down a tiny bit there, but it's not often that it does that. Um, and it does look quite nice. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a really nice dispenser. It's um, obviously different. I think in a way it's similar to the co one just because it's i suppose the shape of it being angled like going you know height wise like spinning it as well don't but it? yeah the spinning it's really nice it feels like a quality like mechanism inside that's all brand in there yeah um the only thing that puts me off it is for some reason when there is um limited edition pods the boxes open a different way, don't they? Yeah, the boxes on the limited edition ones, they sort of, not all of them, maybe it is all of them now, they open from the middle, which means you can't actually use this on those. Yeah. And I don't know why they've done that, because it does, it does make that, it, it sort of sends it down the list a little bit in functionality. But say I wanted, I got a box of corner pods recently, they open from the middle. And I know if I put a silver box in there, then that would sort of spoil the uniformity of the look. Yeah. But at the same time, you know, you, you, I'd want to have them in there. Mm. Um, and it might, I might, I want the decision to be able to do that. Um, so that is a shame with that one. Uh, but still, it glides around so nicely. It looks really smart. It like, looks very sleek. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it's do, a nice dispenser, like. definitely. And then we come to the View Discovery box. £29, holds 48 capsules, 24 on top, 24 underneath. I'll just show you how it works, but do watch the full review if you're interested in this one. So that's what I'm on about with the corner ones. Um, it's a nice dispenser. What do you think? Yeah, I do genuinely really like it. This is one we've been using for the last um, like week, really, or a few days to a week, um, just to try and get a feel for it. Um, when it's closed, if you just close it... Yeah, it's a bit boring when it's closed, isn't it? Yeah, that doesn't <laughs> interest like, me. Some people might like it, but we, we found it a little bit boring. It's got an espresso thing on the top again, we'll just show you. Yeah, I just find it, like I say, a little bit boring, but to have it open... It. No, you can open it. To have it open, um, that I think that looks really nice. And what we're saying is when you have friends around, and when you, especially for me, when you first get your machine and you're getting used to what the pods are, you know, what intensity they are, um, whether they can be brewed as an espresso or as a lungo, all the information you need is inside on that card. Yeah. But equally, it's a card that can present the problem. In that when I had one of these in the past, I've said it, um, it, I couldn't, it was bigger, the older one, and I couldn't get a replacement card when I want, when the range updated. So it, I just thought, oh, I won't get it again. But for the purpose of this review, I just thought you were gonna have to have it and try it out. Now that does slide out. However, I'm still unsure. I've had conflicting answers as to whether you can actually get a replacement card when the range updates. And I'm thinking, I've tried to find out in the past, but like I say, some people say you can, some people say you can't. Um, some people have mentioned putting your own one in there, maybe printing your own one off, mm -hmm. especially if you like compatible pods. You could put your own sort of favorite ones on there for people to choose from. So that's not a bad idea. Um, yeah, what do you reckon? Um, I think the other, I said, I, I really like it. It looks like a box of chocolates. But what I was finding was when the pod that I was wanting wasn't on that top row, I was having to bring it forward, lay it flat, and then access the bottom row. And I think I think this is just highlighting that I like things to be super easy. We talked about this on the podcast, didn't we? And I was saying it did get I would a bit quite like to have a bit of a draw here to the second layer underneath to pull out. Or even if this was like maybe spring loaded so that it sort of came out like that. But we said like um, and you could get it underneath. You know, like a toolbox where they have hinges and yeah. you lift 
the drawers out on top. Yeah, and so it just comes out. Yeah, yeah. So that would... I know it would make it more expensive, but... It would make it, I think, easier to use because you're not having... Like, if you've got... Put your mug down and your mug's in front of the box and you go, oh, move that out the way, I need to... It's just... Or even a touch one where it's not got a handle on either. You could just touch it and yeah. it sort of sprang out. I thought that'd be nice. So it's one of them things where functionality, you've got to think... You do think about these things and... You said you wouldn't, but um, you know it's a temptation to forget the pods that are underneath. But you said you think you wouldn't forget that. But no, because I think I mean what twenty four pods. It's not a lot, really, is it, to have access to? I don't think. And I think when you mm. are a lover of Nespresso pods and compatibles, you end up having such a variety yeah. that everybody's got the favourites. Everybody, you know, you want to access all of them. Um, but I honestly, I do love the look of it. I think it was it threw a spanner in the works this one it really did because we thought it would be way down the list but actually when we got it it was really you know it was way up the list so we've been debating it for days now which how we would rank these um i don't think there's anything with more to say we could think of i don't think so so let's show you what we went with as how we rank them so we went just price order really the nomad the touch nomad we put that in seventh place just because really it only holds a few pods. Um, I don't know how often you would travel with pods. You know, it might be number one for you if that's your prime concern, you want to travel with it. Um, but for us, it was just number seven. It's got a lid, we didn't like that. So we were, we were both agreed. This is our joint list, by the way, after a lot of debate. <laughs> it's a joint list. So number six, we went for the View Cube. Um, it, we put that one lower than the Bombonier because of price. The Bombonier is cheaper, and like £3 cheaper, and because we can just get in at this and access it without having to lift the lid. And actually the shape of it's pretty cool, the design's cool. The fact that it looks like an espresso pod, that's, that's cool. Um, so that's what we went with. Are we agreed? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. No, no last minute changes? No. no. <laughs> so, number five then, Bombonier, that's what we went with. Um, for all the reasons that we just said. Number four, we went with the touch sleeve dispenser. Um, go on, do you mind explaining why? <laughs> just because um, as much as it's really sleek and nice, fun to use, having the limited edition boxes, like sleeves, open a different way and being different colours does mess with it. It makes it um, limited then as to actually which pods you can use with it. Yeah. Then number three, we went for Sio. Now that might shock a lot, I don't know. Um, but it's a really good dispenser, really functional. But for us, I don't think we would use those, those other functions of it being able to stick it to a fridge or to put it on the wall. Um, and it's just a bit fiddly to get the pods in and out. We do get used to it. And I know people say you get used to it. We've got used to it now. But even, I don't know, what, what was it, do you think, that made that? For me, it you? wasn't getting the pods in and out. That That's absolutely fine. I think it's just... Having, having it at the right angle to be able to access it all. It's just like we're saying, this is just our own personal one. So the way we work means that, and the way our kitchen works, it just doesn't quite fit, does it? Not really, not for us. That, that's just, all it is. I think it's a it brilliant is. dispenser. So yeah. Options for so many different people. But for us, it just wasn't quite right. But it is good that you can have... it's both sides you know it means you can fit a full sleeve in as well so you can go up one side down the other you can fit a full sleeve in then recycle the cardboard you don't have half a box stuck in a drawer somewhere getting crushed yeah yeah so it is good really but good it, it was really easy doing these bottom three um but when once we got to this top four we found it really difficult didn't we mm, yeah. to separate them and you'll probably be different to ours so we'd love to hear it so number two what do we go with discovery box and um, again very difficult to decide between that. I might as well just put this one on now. Number one, for us personally, pure rock. Very difficult to decide between. What do you think? I think it literally came down to, in the end, thinking, like I said, it took us ages to figure out this top four. But like you said earlier, when I came to think about it, I never once have got frustrated or annoyed with the pure rock. It's really quality, it feels quality, it moves really nice and everything is there, accessible. I don't need to worry about what order things are going in in lines, if they're in, as, you know, with the display box, I think I, I get a bit, oh, that needs to be in a, 
in a row and I'm running out of this so I'll move that one around so that one's nice and neat and I, I can get a bit like carried away like that and I know that actually lots of people probably prefer that and they might think that the pure rock can be a bit messy yes, looking yes, yeah. well, and I understand that but for me it's not once frustrated me or annoyed me it's just so easy and it can be used for both virtual and original yeah and um, I think it looks really nice too and there's no risk of it ever going out of date no you know? that's the other thing um, because I, I was thinking maybe a reason if, if you can't get a card from Nespresso because you'd think that they'd be listed on the website for sale if you could get one because they did update the, the range recently to the Italiano Esprizione range mm. but I was thinking if you went and bought one off eBay which someone mentioned recently they'd done um, and then you wanted to update it with you know they're not going to send you a free card out if you bought a dispensing box off eBay are they um, so but Maybe you could buy one. I think that would be a good solution. I think that if they don't offer that solution already, I think they should. But if you've ever bought one off Nespresso, do let us know in the comments. Let us know what you paid, if you would, um, and whether that's an option. So that's what we went with. Um, I hope that's been helpful to those looking for a dispenser. I know there's probably been a load of Nespresso machines bought over this lockdown period because people want the coffee. Um, and as soon as, if you haven't got one already... Sooner or later, most people then end up buying a dispenser because they realise the pods are getting crushed. Um, but I hope that that's helped you just to decipher it a little bit. Um, please leave your opinions in the comments. Let us know what you think. Uh, thanks for watching the video. Um, check out the podcast as well. Like I said, we discussed this a bit last week. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And don't forget to give the video a like if it's, if it's helped you. Bye for now.